Let's see if I was going to remember what I was going to say. I have this on my mind, so it shouldn't be difficult. Yeah, okay. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's not as critical as you think it is. The, to, the path to get a solution... I know you're desperate sometimes. But the path to get a solution is not as critical as you think it is. Because you're experiencing the result of your choice. All you do is change your thinking and change your choice. Right? Because saying no to something is saying yes to something else. Right? Well, what are you saying yes to? So it's important to find your yes. Then... And your limit. Right? So the limit should be decided by the requirement that, of the thing that you're saying yes to. Okay? You're saying every choice is a yes. But not every choice is a no. Oh, you're saying no is just you're simply updating the person on, on what, your, what the value is, right? If you're not saying yes to something, you don't have any strength. You don't have a backup. Right? And so putting the horse before the cart is something you want to do. But in our t in today's mindset, it permeates everything. Like, how can I get something for nothing? That's that's essentially every decision that's being made is seen today through humanity, at least in the area I'm in. This, uh, there's, this, there's this lingering, hovering deception that says, you know, stay in your stay in your little dome. so that you don't have to do anything, right? Um, and so, what's not, what the deception is that cost is loss, right? But, but cost is the path to gain because you don't own anything you've ever seen with your eyes. You only own thresholds. That's the only thing you can own, and you can only own it by a choice that you, that you, by habits. Habits determine what you actually own. Um, I've said in a previous video, I should say recording, because sometimes I make audio. So I said in a previous recording <laughs> that, uh, my train of thought. You only own... You only own what you're involved in and pay a price for. It's a wisdom from the Spirit of God. I don't know why I got distracted. I think my concern shifted, right? I want to make sure I'm not driving too fast. I want to make sure um, I'm not scaring people when I come to a stop. But that consideration has a limit, and that's what I need to understand. Like I'm not, I'm not, you know. And I think that's probably the source of the belief that, yeah, we can take. Well, no, you're being provided for at somebody else's cost, right? What happens when they can't do it anymore? What happens when they need to shift their their mindset away to take care of needs? And so the whole entitlement mindset, I can get something for nothing because of the way I think, is. If you can't get it, then your timing is doesn't align with another person's, right? The timing is not chosen by the needy. The timing is chosen by the one who's willing to shed blood, sweat, and tears. Okay? Because the only person, the person who bleeds stuff like that owns it. So if, if they were to do what the other person wanted based on pressure or fear or whatever, right? Which should be looked at correctly. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now that I've led a, led a, a path there. The, the, only, the way you own something, own something bad is by not working it. And that's essentially what it is. And you, if you, if you work the bad, you lose the good. And now you're a slave to the bad. Now you're underneath the people with the toilet, and all you're going to hear are complaints. And you can't. You know, you're going to be a slave. You're not going to be able to be able to actually bring a solution. You you won't you won't have the uh, op, you won't have the opportunity because only authority can give solution. And there itself, 
uh, closes the loop of, of immaturity, dismissal, right? Um, the lack of self-honesty. It gets every, every, every single bad thing gets shut out in your mind because of that understanding. Okay, now, oh, it's hard. It's difficult. Well, I can understand that. I'm not trying to mock anybody. That's just, I don't know. Forgive my tone of voice if I, <coughs> if I, um, didn't give you the, what you think you needed in order to pay a price. If you have consciousness, if you are aware, then, and you can hear what I'm saying, then you have the option to pay a price. You just think it might cost too much. Well, no, saying, saying no causes you to lose that which you don't want anyway don't want the thing. I mean, think about it. If you're, if, if you're afraid to say yes, or excuse me, if you're afraid to say no, the thing, the source of your fear is your belief in continual gain from something, which is deception because it requires the omission of authority, which is impossible. Because provision comes from authority, not by whining. Not by entitlement. Not by th thinking that you can think a certain way and get something for free. Now, this is where self-honesty and limitations and acceptance and provision and the whole five levels of Maslow's hierarchy of need come in. I mean, you are at a certain distance at all times. That's the support point of self-honesty. You have to find out where you're at. Okay? The How you feel, uh, self-honesty in regards to how you feel will say, well... I have issues. Yeah. What are issues? When I say issues, I mean difficulty in accepting whatever the embrace of the cost. Okay. Issues are the emotional difficulty of embracing, or it might not be emotional, whatever, whatever is difficult for you. The, the difficulty to embrace the cost, which will create ownership, which will which will make you an authority, which then you will have the flow, and then you will provide. Okay, so it's the starting of the habit that's the difficult part. Because of the unknown, because of perception, it's essentially what it is, it's perceiving the unknown. So it might not be cost, it might be like what you see as having to face something like oh no what will I do well I won't be able to say no to that thing and that what it is and that what you're really afraid of I mean think about it I'm just describing psychology and truth okay that's all I'm describing you know this to be true because this is how you think so people ignore their own psychology in hopes that they're going to find a different way there is no other way you can't you can't just suddenly show up at the end of a path you have to walk the path. It doesn't work that way. Okay? Now, you can be provided. You can get that which comes from that other path. But you ain't going to own it. It can be taken from you. That's the whole point. Your beliefs can be taken from you without blood, sweat, and tears. And it's difficult to say no to something. Hi. Hi. If you don't say no to something low. So where do we find these? We find these in survival. Are you going to say no to your own survival? No. You're going to say yes to it. How about how about someone who wants to take your survivability? Now, it's not righteous or noble to give that away, that which you need. But it is, it is uh, how would you say... I'll put it this way. If your perceptions are accurate, then you'll know what you need and what you actually don't need. Now, I'm reminded of all that stuff Jesus said at the beginning. Don't worry about what you will eat or drink. Isn't life greater than the... greater than... Food, greater than... Uh, well, how does it... What does it say? Life greater than food and the body greater than clothing. gives you everything. It's just a matter of maintaining you. Now, if you have 
trouble receiving. That's because of your conscience. All right, if you've mishandled it, you kn you know because it's... Wow, that is a weird... Looks like I'm sunburned. That's so strange, isn't it? You have difficulty... Excuse me. <coughs> you have difficulty receiving because... Because you're wondering, well, what's the catch? What's the catch? What's the catch? And if you're paranoid in that regard or skeptical, it means that you haven't used what you have. The condition of your psyche is determined by spiritual law to protect yourself and others in a, in a cycle. You, might, you can even say protect others and, and then yourself because you have what you need. You all, listen, you have what you need at any given, if you have awareness of something, then you have what you need. What's what you need? You, what you need is whatever it, to bleed or to sweat or to cry. So bleeding is, is in regards to how you, your identity, your self image. Crying is in regards to uh, like overwhelming, an overwhelming emotion right so there's in your so there's your identity there's your emotion and uh, sweat is in regards to your expectations okay you with me self image overwhelming energy and emotions and then expectations based on perceptions now even though you might have experienced something wrong you, you ran into somebody you ran into somebody and you had a, had a tough time. That's the people under under that don't want to pay a price. They want to have the authoritative gift while they have a horizontal. They want to bounce back and forth between um, between uh, free. They bounce bounce back and forth between free and hope. That makes sense. Oh, there's hope that I can do something, but I don't want to do it. So I'll go back to free where it costs somebody something else. And that's essentially the psychological trap that people are in. Trap is just running back and forth. It doesn't mean you're stuck. It means you look like you're moving, but you're actually not. You're just you're just taking up space. Literally. In relational speaking, you want everyone to hear about how you feel, you know, hear about how you feel and blah 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 blah. And that's okay sometimes. We need that horizontal stuff. But if that's all if you're not if you're not humbling yourself to find out what's needed. If you're too afraid of losing relationships to tell people the truth, right? So one, you're not doing anything to understand. And two, you're not using things that cause you to rise. You understand? You reap what you sow. You with me? So if you, if you take other people's space, then you create the need for space. If you give a, if you give the truth-based authority, right, then you can expect truth-based authority. If you, oh, this happened again. If you are humble, then you recognize the humble. You'll function in these levels, right? But if you're so, truth speaking, truth doesn't mean you have a haughty attitude, haughty uh, image. But then that connects with the self uh, sacrificing who you see yourself as one way or the other now like oh I don't want to I don't want to say this because I don't want the other person I want the other person to think of me in a certain way well, that's still manipulative like well I don't want to bother them oh I don't want to bother them you don't want to bother them that's a chicken way out well I'm afraid of I'm afraid of uh, you know, I don't want to you know I don't want to disturb their comfort Faithful are the wounds, okay? Faithful, wounds wounds are faithful. It means they're reliable, not just like bad things could be reliable. But they'll be with you and give you strength as you walk down a path. They'll keep you, they'll keep your mind in the right spot, right? So faithful, what is faithful? Let's talk about expectations. There's, you won't, you won't, you'll be strong as you sweat. Does that make sense? Because it will be with you. You know, so that makes a lot of sense. I could talk all day. 